It's coming from the cliffs! Come on! Help! Help! Up here! Oh! It's Penny! Oh, thank goodness you're here! I'm stuck! Someone will have to run and get help! Wait a minute! What's that you're holding? Oh! It's a flare! What? You shouldn't be playing with that! We found it! I was going to... to give it to Fireman Sam! Good girl! But right now, it's just what I need! Mandy, could you throw it up to me? Me? Oh! All right! Brilliant throw, Mandy! Wow! wow! Dancing didgeridoos! Where, oh, where is that... Flare! Oh, it came from the cliffs! I'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, an emergency flare from the cliffs! Tom has sighted an emergency flare, Sam. Somebody must be in trouble on the cliffs. Tom will meet you there in the chopper. Goodness, there's Tom. Here's Fireman Sam. It's Penny. She's stuck at the cliff. You have to help her. Don't worry, Mandy. We'll save her. Tom, lower the double harness. No worry, Sam. Coming right up. Or will be down. OK, Tom. Take it up. Slowly now. And well done for not letting it off. Congratulations, Mandy. You're a hero. Oh, uh, well, I said right from the start that we shouldn't let it off. No way. After all, it's not the firework, you know. It's Bromwyn. When is Sam going to do the judge in? He's just rolling up the hoses at the fire station, but he'll be along very soon. <clears throat> OK, gather round, everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome you all to my flower and vegetable show. <laughs> Thank you. I've spent a lot of time planning this event, and I'm proud to say... Dad! Dad! The compost heap! Don't interrupt, Mandy. Uh, I'm proud to say that all my hard work... Dad! Look! It's on fire! Oh! I don't believe it! Oh! Call Fireman Sam! A compost heap fire of the floods. It's just you and me, Sam. The others have gone to the flower and vegetable show. That's where we're going, too. Everyone, leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way. Stop that now!
you so much, Sam and Penny. I had no idea a compost heap could be so dangerous. That's why I advised Mike to dig it over and let it cool down. Mike? Uh, yes, it's true. Mandy kept reminding me too, but I wouldn't listen. I suppose I thought I knew better. But how come the fire started all by itself? When Mike picked the marrow, it created a hole, you see. The compost was already very hot, and when air got into the hole, it started the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I so wanted this show to be a success, and now I've ruined everything. No, you haven't, Dad. I love you, kid. The flowers and vegetables are still intact, aren't they? Oh, yes, sir. Apart from Mrs. Tomato. Great! Then let's get on with the judging. There's a barbecue place at the picnic area. I hope you're all paying attention in this morning's lesson. Well, Elvis, it looks like you'll be eating those sausages sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. OK, Sam. OK, Elvis, turn on the water. <gasps> Ooh, Sam, look, there's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Everyone, back, please. Penny, keep spraying the gas canister to keep it cool while I put out the rest of the fire. Don't worry, Sam. I'm on it. There. All out. See if there are any sausages and king prawns left, Fireman Sam. Sorry, Norman. Gas canisters can stay hot for a very long time. It won't be safe to go over there for quite a while yet. Oh, I'll just have to take the rest of my sausages home. And I'll have to take my king prawns. But I'm so hungry. I never even got a sniff of those sausages or the prawns. Maybe next time you should set your barbecue away from the trees. And maybe a little less charcoal? Well, you're right there, Sam. Uh, it was my fault too, Trevor. I was showing off a bit. Now no one can have my sausages. Or my king prawns. Wait a minute. That oil drum has given me an idea. There you go. One barbecue. Perfect for sausages and king prawns. But this time, you'll have to cook together. No worries. Thanks, Fireman Sam. I've got to give it to you, mate. Those sausages do smell good. Well, so do your king prawns. Maybe we can both be the barbecue champions of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Bonds are idea, mate. Ooh, are the sausages nearly ready? Oh! <laughs> 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 Lion's trapped in a flooded basement, and Mike's in there with him. Well, get me out of here, and we'll go and rescue him. Uh, uh, the door seems to be stuck. Penny's right. I can't move it either. I could always use the axe. No, no, no. Uh, don't worry about me. Go and rescue Mike. The public always comes first. Well, if you're sure, sir. Come on, then. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> I hope Mike's OK. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. <laughs> Follow me. Right. He's in here, is he? OK, Mike, I need you to stand back. 
I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. Shouldn't you shut off the water? I'll get the pump ready. One thing at a time. The first thing we need to do is make sure Mike is safe. Mike, are you a safe distance back yet? Uh, yes, Sam. Grab my arm, Mike. Well done, Sam. Oh, Lion is safe. You did stay very calm. And you did one thing at a time. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I wouldn't have got into such a mess. Don't worry. At least you're safe. Yes. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Come on, Mike. Let's go and do a duet. Uh, wait a minute, Elvis. One thing at a time, remember? Yes. I I'll shut the water off at the mains. Elvis, can you help me get the pump to pump out all this water? And I'll go and get old Mrs. Steele out of the <laughs> cupboard. Then we can all meet at the quayside for Elvis and Mike's big number. Come on, Elvis! Hey, 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 like hey, the rock gods! Very good! Come on, boys! Splish, splash, I'm having, having a wash. Splash, splish, feel like, like a fish. fish. Splish, splash, I'll be out in a flash. We're doing the splish, splash, shimmy, splish, splash, splash. Hooray! Hooray! Well done, boys! <laughs> I mean, well done, men. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Pretend you are putting out a big fire. I mean a really big one. Oh, ah, uh, like this? Could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I can slide down the pole if you'd like. <laughs> <gasps> Excellent. Good idea. Where you belong. It's time now, Mandy. It's where it belongs. Bye! And thanks! No problem, Mandy. OK, Mandy. Let's go back to my house and see who got the most creatures from the rock pools. Like we don't know already. What do you want to do? <laughs> they can't talk, Mandy. Hello? I'm still the winner, though, OK? Whatever! At last, a proper photograph of the Punty Paddy Fire Brigade. Um, <laughs> sorry, everyone. I seem to have run out of film. But you only just put the new one in this morning. What have you been taking pictures of, then, Trevor? Well, uh, we took lots is of... That, oh, uh, is that the phone? Yes. yes. My shop! I'll ring for the fire brigade! Dillis, stop! 
You must never enter a burning building. Don't worry, Sam. I'll go home and phone from there. It'll be quicker for me to run back to the station and get help. Hurry, Sam! Hello, Fireman Sam. I was just... Oh. Sorry, James. Emergency. I'll bring it right back. Wow! Oh, I don't understand it. I thought we'd be rushed off our feet today. That's not a very dignified way for a firefighter to spend his day off. No time to explain, sir. There's a fire at Dillis's supermarket. A fire? Oh, action stations at last. Wait! Hang on! I haven't rung the bell! Ooh! I'd love to have a go on one of these. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you are back, Sam. Wow! Look at all that smoke. It smells like summer meadows. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. Shame all fires don't smell this nice, eh, Penny? So, did you get all your jobs done, Sam? No, no, I didn't. Uh, but I saved Mike from the roof, I stopped a runaway bus, I freed Norman from the cement, I ran and skateboarded all the way back to the station to sound the alarm, and I helped put out a fire. Oh, so that's why we didn't have any emergencies today. Yes, Sam was dealing with them all. Well, you know what they say. A good fireman is never off duty. Oh, Sam, we've been having a little chat. Since you gave up your day off to help us, now we'd like to help you. I'll paint your front door, Sam. No problem. And I'll do all your ironing. And Norman here will be digging your vegetable patch for the next three months. Aw, Mum! That's wonderful. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Fireman Sam, when can I have my skateboard back? Your skateboard? In all the excitement, I nearly forgot. I'll just pop back to the station and... Oh, oh, help me! I, I, I can't stop! Oh, As I was saying, a good oh, fireman is never off duty. <laughs> Don't worry, sir! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> Radar has come back to the nuts house by himself. Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know Radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep Radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Mike's fan. Well done, Radar. You did it. Mike, are you okay? I I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. Oh, Mike. Okay, everyone, stand well back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike. Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, I was trying to herd them into their pen. With radar, eh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, 
Mike, give me your hand. Oh, oh thanks, Sam. Oh, dear. I wish I could make things better. I'd better call the station and warn them about the sheep. <laughs> well? Good news. Mike Flood had the emergency and he's safe now. Well done, Radar, eh? What a <laughs> hero. Sam did say something about runaway sheep. <laughs> ah! ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, sir. My hiccups? They're cured. Mike said I needed a fright. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And he's standing there now, staring at you. Go on. I dare you to turn around and look. OK. Oh. <gasps> oh! It's on fire! Call Fireman Sam. Ooh, a, a fire at Mike Flood's house? There's a fire at the Flood's house. Quick as you can. Is it Mike Flood's bonfire, sir? Probably. I expect it's got out of control. We're supposed to be going there after we come off duty. Yes, so uh, I might as well come with you. Well... Bonfire, is it, Mike? No, the fire's in the sitting room. Breathing apparatus on then, men. <sighs> the fire's out. You were lucky it wasn't worse. Thanks, Sam. Thanks so much. Do you know how it started? It was my fault. I put a cloth over the pumpkin to make it look like the ghost of Ponty Pandy. And actually, Sam, I left the candle burning. <sighs> you shouldn't go out and leave a candle burning. And you should never put a cloth over a naked flame. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to win the spooking competition, that's all. It was an accident, Norman. We understand. But I'm afraid the fire's made quite a lot of mess. I'll clear it all up. I'll help. And me. Why don't we all help? Great. Thanks, everyone. And remember, Norman, there's a time and a place for spooking people. OK, Sam. I promise... Like now! <laughs> I think we have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's boat, off you go, Penny. I really don't think you're well enough for this, Penny. Uh, perhaps I should go instead, sir. Sorry, Cridlington, but Penny's the expert here. She'll have to take Neptune. Look, I'll do this one last emergency. Then I'll go home. OK. Never heard it so busy. It's no good, Radar. I can't stay away a moment longer. You could do this, Penny. You can do this. You can do it. Oh, it's no good. I'm putting everyone at risk. OK, Penny, just stay where you are. Help is on its way. Elvis, tell Tom to bring the helicopter down to the quayside. I'll get Sam to meet him there. 
Will do, sir. Sam! Yes, sir? Ah! What? Oh, my word, that was quick. I'm reporting for duty, sir. What's the emergency? Why has Neptune stopped? Something's wrong. What's the matter? Are you hurt? No. Um, I think I got a fever. Uh, uh, Let's get you off here. Sorry for the delays. Penny's been taken ill. Oh. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. Now, let's get that propeller untangled and tow you back to shore. I'm so sorry. I should have stayed at home today. Though I admire your sense of duty, you risk putting yourselves and others in danger. I know. I won't do it again, sir. And I'm sorry, Sam, for calling you in on your day off. I was on my way in anyway. It's hard to stay away when you've got the best job in the world. You're right there, Sam. Sam Chow! Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better call Fireman Sam. Good boy, Lion. Goodbye, Samwich. <laughs> James and Norman lost at sea? Two boys are reported lost at sea. Sounds like a job for Neptune. Might be an idea to get Tom Thomas out in his helicopter, sir. Leave that to me, Sam. You can come too, Lion. I'm sure Bronway must be wondering where you've got to. If they're out there, Sam will find them. We've got no food, no water. <laughs> what are we going to do, James? Calm down, Norman. They must be looking for us. But the ocean is such a big place. We'll be like a needle in a big wet haystack. Bombs at you, Sam. I've spotted them. How they got all the way out here, I'll never know. We'll be with you right away. Thanks, Tom. Roger and out. Sorry, Sam. We fell asleep. That's the trouble with the sea. You never know what it's going to do. Even though you shouldn't have been out here on your own in the first place, lads. But we were being pirates. Let's get you back to dry land. Thank goodness you were safe. So, do you think girls make good pirates now, Norman? Maybe, Sarah. Maybe who? Maybe Captain Sarah. Oh, Bronwyn, I've got a certain lion who thinks he's the fire station cat. He hasn't been a pest, has he? Let's just say he's better off being a ship's cat from now on. Yeah, fishy breath. <laughs> <laughs>